All right, so Jordan and I are in here, man, cleaning up the shop, and I just wanted to show that this tool right here that came from a hiker, man, um, I call it the Grand Shank, but it does very well cutting up this refrigerator stuff, and so we're doing some shop cleanup today. We definitely need some cleanup because we're actually coming in with uh, some some lumber today and building a wall over in that corner right there. And so the wall is going to go right over in there, and we're going to move some of these uh, items out of here. And then porn couch right here has to go, man. It's done its job, but. Uh, it's time for it to, to move on, so we're going to be bringing uh, our actual own couch down here. It's time for a new one anyways, and I know that couch is clean and hasn't had porn, porn performed on it possibly, so this thing has got to go though, man. It's really uncomfortable and it is broken in many different ways, and so... <laughs> It is extremely uncomfortable, so we're getting rid of this too. Uh, probably not today, but within the next week. Um, and then we're going to start getting this shop in order. And so hopefully, uh, I have an appointment with Cat Bridget Bell. And she's, her name is Catwoman, and we've been, we've been friends with her for a while. And, you know, way back in the day, she called me, man. I don't remember what year it was, but um, it may have been like 2019, 2020 era. And she was really, uh, she was on a journey, a spiritual journey. Um, and she can explain her own um, her own thing, man, her own story, but she was on a spiritual journey and she wanted a ride. She started hiking the trail and she wanted a ride from like Springer to Amicola or something. And so we started helping her way back then and we've been assisting her and she has been coming back and forth from the trail for years now. And we actually are good friends with her. She came up to trail days last year. We rented a house and she was up there hanging loose. But we are possibly going to have her work here one day out of the week on Saturdays and uh, Sunday she goes to church and stuff and does her thing. And she also is like a paralegal, I think, right? Down in Dahlon, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she does like a paralegal or something. Man, she used to work in Atlanta and she, she got out of that place, man. Now she's up here, but um, we're going to have her coming in uh, sometime this week, man, to sit down and talk to us. And, Hopefully we can get her in here on a Saturday. So, um, and then, you know, we'll slowly get the shop running. We got to structure the shop, man, so it works for everyone, man. And, and so it's just taken a little while. You know, back in 2020, the shop was kind of a different, uh, it had a different uh, type of feel to it. And also like those different, we had a different idea going on. And so, but today it still has part of that idea, but it, we, we realized that it needs something different to make it work. And so we are trying to learn how to make this work and also have it as a spot for hikers to hang out at and make sure they have a safety spot to come to. So anyways, uh, I've got some new equipment that I've been buying and uh, one of it is some lighting and some stick, uh, what do you call these things? Selfie sticks. And so I bought a couple different brands and uh, one of the brands ended up being really shitty. So it's sitting at my house, man. We're gonna get ready to turn it in and get some different stuff, man. But also I'm going to be purchasing a nice camera so we can start filming more stuff. And I have an editor that's been waiting for my ass to get this together for about six months. So uh, I'm finally doing it now, man. So uh, we should have some good stuff. Uh, to put out their good informational stuff on the businesses out here because that's what we're focusing on not just hikers but businesses also man because I think the businesses are just as much uh, has has if not more part you know they're part of the trail too man and so that's what keeps it all in balance businesses wildlife the acronyms of the trail USFS you know ATC whomever and then on uh, the 30 plus trail groups that actually take care of the trail and maintain it and keep it keep it in good order so it's safe and passable. But we all work together as a team, man, to keep it organized. So anyways, more to come, man. Thank you for watching. J Jordan and I are going to get this up to the dumpster and get some stuff going. He's out of here at nine, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Peace. Bye.